Welcome to another episode of Class Haven Farms. So what are we doing today? Well today we're going to do a review of the newly redesigned 5x8 utility trailer from the Carry On Company. If you're not familiar with Carry On, you can buy these trailers at big stores like Tractor Supply and Lowe's and a few others that are out there. If you're familiar with my channel, I did a video of the 5x8 Carry On utility trailer that I bought from Tractor Supply about a year and a half ago. It's probably my most watched video that's out there. So today we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. There's some new designs that Carry On put into this trailer, so we're going to go over them. We're going to look at this trailer, and we're going to look at the other one that I have that I bought a year and a half ago. Look at some of the differences. So here we have both trailers. This trailer here is the new carry-on trailer. And the one over there is the one that I've had for a year and a half now. Now about 10 months ago, I did a review on that trailer. and I got a lot of feedback from it. It's the most watched video that I've had. I think I'm at 10,000 views on that video. And as a result of that, I was contacted by Gary Holbrook from the carry-on company. And he wanted to get this newly redesigned trailer to me. They call this trailer the Next Gen Trailer. And what Gary said when he dropped this off was that they were very impressed with the review that I did on this one. And they were very happy with just how genuine I was on it and how truthful I was on it. So they asked if I could do a review on this trailer. Now I will tell you guys, I'm not getting any money for this. I'm not getting any money from Carry On. I'm not getting any money from Tractor Supply or, or Lowe's or anything like that. But I guess the biggest reason why I did this video is I know a lot of people are interested in things like this. And I know me personally, I go to YouTube a lot to do a lot of my reviews. I mean, it's kind of where I got my idea for my channel because I was watching things and I thought, you know, that'd be pretty fun and something different to do. So that's why I'm doing this. So we'll go ahead and dive into this trailer and do a side-by-side -side comparison of some of the things that Carry On has done with this because I am very impressed with some of the features and things that they've added to it. So probably the first thing that I see right off the bat with this newly redesigned trailer is the paint quality. The paint quality in this one is 10 times better than the paint quality in this one. What they do with this is they spray this on and talking to Gary, they actually dip these new trailers. Uh, and I'm gonna walk you around it real quick. You can see right off the bat, just the quality in it. Now obviously, this is brand new, so it's got a nice shine and stuff to it. Come over to this one, you can see I got some paint chips. Again, this thing's about a year and a half old. Um, so, you know, for the money point, what you spend on it, you kind of get what you get, and that's why I've always been very happy with this trailer. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I love this trailer. But uh, them just taking the time on this, you can just see that the paint quality is, is top-notch as far as that goes. The other thing that you'll see, um, and I'll see if I can get on the side and kind of show you, the thing that I noticed is the decking boards that they use are a lot thicker on this trailer compared to this one. And, of course, you can't really see it. But I can tell that the, the deck is a lot better on this newly redesigned trailer. So that was something that really stuck out to me. Uh, the other thing that I really like are two things here on the tongue. You have a two inch coupler here, which I really like because that's an inch and seven eighths, which isn't that big of a deal. But I move this around with my tractor a lot. And on my tractor, I have a two inch ball on my heavy hitch receiver. Um, but I, I don't have an inch and seven eighths. So what I do is on my tongue of my tractor, I have an inch seven eighths that I can hook up on this, where this is a two inch. 
So I do like that just for the convenience of, you know, I can back right up to it with a tractor and pick up on it. It's just a lot easier where that one, I kind of got to grab it and I got to work it around the heavy hitch and drop it down on the tongue. So actually, this is just a little rinky dink trailer that I've had for years, but I actually swapped over the tongue on that and made that a two inch just to make my life easier. So for me personally, that might not affect you guys, but it definitely affects me. I like that that's two inches. The other thing that I like here is they put this handle here, which just makes it really convenient to pick up on it and move it around. You know, of course, with this trailer, I mean, neither one of them are really heavy. That was another reason why we bought it. It's easy to move around, but the handle's nice. The other thing, this front section here unbolts. So if something were to happen and you dented this up or whatever the case may be, it's very easy to unbolt it and put a new one on. Where that one there, it's all welded. So it's something to think about. Now I did notice here, you would have welds here that you would probably have to re-weld. But as far as here on the side, you can unbolt it. So just kind of them thinking outside the box there. The other thing that I noticed is your tie down marks. You have one in each corner. You can see that too well. I tried to move this trailer around where it was better in the sun, but just kind of working with mother nature. But so you have four corners, have spots where you can hook something up. You can also still use these just like in the other trailer. On my original trailer, you just have a V here, which works fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I know with some of the ratchet straps that are out there, the hooks are kind of weird, and sometimes they don't like to hook into this here, where this rounded section is a lot easier for it to get onto. Some of the other things that I noticed is that the fenders are bolted on. So if you needed to replace a fender, it's a lot easier to replace the fender than opposed to this one because this one is completely welded on. So that was something that they looked at. You know, a lot of times people have things that hit this or they back into it or whatever the case may be. So it gives you the option to be able to change fenders out if you need to. So I thought that was a good quality issue that they fixed. Both sides are like that. We get back to the gate. This gate here, it's the same size as what's there. The only difference is both gates can fold inward. So if I wanted to fold this all the way in, I could, but I can remove this one very easily. It's bolted here on the sides. This one, the original trailer, is not bolted. You can see that because of the sun. I really apologize, guys. But it's, you're, that, that gate is on there. You're not taking that gate off. So the best thing you can do with that gate, if you don't want it in the way, is to fold it down. The review that I did, probably the three biggest downfalls of this trailer were the paint, which I talked about. The next is the way the wires are run. They run it through a conduit here and it runs along the rail and then it comes down to the front. This one, everything is run under the trailer, which I like a lot better. As you guys saw in that first video, I primarily use this trailer for picking up big rounds of wood like that. So when I get the rounds of wood up on this trailer, I gotta be careful that I don't bend that conduit down when I drop the uh, big round down. Where this thing, everything's tucked up underneath. It just makes it a lot cleaner. So I like that. The other downfall of this trailer, and I talked about this in the review that I did. Now, I'll post a uh, link up here at the top if you've never seen the original video that I did on this. But probably one of the biggest things is the original tag bracket that came with this trailer. Now, this tag bracket came off of that 4x8 trailer that I have. Because the original one that was here was super duper cheap. I picked up on the front. Of course, when you pick it up, it drops the tag down. And I barely touched the driveway, and it cracked all this. So I put this on there and just swapped the trailer around because that's just a homemade one that I've had for years. And it hasn't ever seen the road. It's, I just use it for moving brushes and stuff around here. So this tag bracket, I mean, it works fine, but the one that we came with this original trailer was absolute junk. 
So what they did to fix that, which I like, is this entire taillight housing is the tag bracket. And it's all metal. Okay, so I do like that. It won't crack, it won't break. The only thing that I will say though is it does, and you gotta think, I bolt that tag there sitting here so it is still kind of sitting down low so if you pick up on the front end you just have to be conscious of that i have to be conscious on my trailer that when i pick up on the front end and i'm moving around you know in the driveway or the yard that i don't pick it up too high because i can bend it up um you know like i said it's metal so you can bend it back it's really no big deal uh, the taillight housings still look about the same uh, they're not the led housings or anything but they did do leds up here on the front side markers. So I do like that. It's, you know, got the little rubber there so it moves, but it is actually into the cross bar. So it's protected. Now I will tell you, looking at it, hopefully you can just pop that rivet out if something happened and you did break that lens. Um, so you wouldn't be able to get behind it here because it actually is mounted in there. But I would, I would venture to say you can probably pop this out and get it out but I do like that it's LED uh, looks a lot cleaner obviously you can see on that side kind of how that is now one thing I will notice and I don't know how this happened I don't know if it was me or somebody else moving the trailer around but because these wires are exposed you can see this one has been pulled out so when I get done doing this video I guess I'm gonna have to touch up on that because that's probably not working right now. So that's the nice thing about the way this is done because everything is down in here. It's protected, so you don't have to worry about this wire getting snagged because right when I went to go do this video, this wire was sitting like this. I don't know how that happened. So that's kind of the problem when you have these wires being run up underneath and coming out of this conduit and things like that. So I like the fact that they ran everything up underneath and it's protected better so you don't have that happened it's not the end of the world i can easily fix that but you know it's just another thing that i got to deal with all in all everything else is pretty much the same the price point on this and let me grab my phone because i actually stopped by my local tractor supply where i originally bought this trailer from just to see if they had any of these next gens on lot and they did and i took a picture of it so the price tag for the new 5x8, now this has, the, the one that I looked at today at my tractor supply had the mesh bottom, so it didn't have the boards. So I would venture to say that it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive with the boards. Of course, the way lumber prices are right now, who knows how much that'll be. But for the 5x8 open mesh, uh, excuse me, open mesh loop utility trailer, it's $949.99, so $949.99. Like I said, I would venture to say that one's probably a little bit more expensive because it does have the uh, wood bottom. Um, but if that's something that you're worried about, obviously you could put your own boards in there and make your own. Of course, when I bought mine, it came like this. Now, for mine, I think the price point, a regular price was probably the same thing it was that 949 the only difference with mine was when i bought it it was like 150 dollars on sale and then i had a 10 excuse me i had a 10 percent off entire purchase coupon so that really helped uh, so i definitely got a lot cheaper but for the money guys you can't beat it now i did see for the mesh floor bottom on this the uh, gross vehicle weight rating is 2,000 pounds with the GVWR being um, 1,600. So you could put uh, 1,600 pounds on there. This one, uh, the way it sits is 1,450. Um, but remember this, when they say this is a mesh floor, because the one that I looked at at Tractor Supply today has a mesh floor, so that's not taking into account the extra weight that you have from the boards. Uh, so it's just something to think about. Um, again, fourteen fifty on that, and I've never had any issues. I've loaded, you know, all the all this these big rounds here came in on that trailer. And again, those of you that have seen the other video that I did, I cut up a big red oak and uh, loaded that on that trailer, 
and I've never had any problems. I've never had any problems with the tires, you know, tilting out because they're overloaded or anything like that. Now, I have had some people in the past, and I guess this is really with any trailer. I mean, even with my camper when I first bought it, uh, any trailer, when you first buy them, you know, every 50 miles to 100 miles, you really should go over these and check your lug nuts, um, check your leaf spring bolts, because I had one gentleman that left me a comment on here that one of his uh, leaf spring bolts came loose. And I have, I've checked everything on that. Pretty much every 100 miles or so, I would get underneath it and check it. I have never had anything come loose on that, but that I did have when I first bought my camper. I had a lug nut that came loose after 50 miles, but they tell you that you should check stuff like that. Um, as far as the wiring and everything, it's all the same thing. So it's, uh, it's the four pin, just like this one is. So this is my original. It's the same thing on this one. So no, no different on that, the four flat. But all in all, I really do like this trailer. Just looking at it, the paint quality is so nice on it. And for the price point, I mean, again, $949, you know how Tractor Supply is. A lot of times they put their stuff on sale, and then you can get a 10% off entire purchase coupon. So you can think about it. I know Lowe's kind of does a lot of the same things. You can get a 10% off coupon. I know Lowe's also does the military 10% off and things like that. So it's just something to think about. I do plan on doing some more videos of me actually using this. Uh, so maybe, you know, loading up my little uh, LT-160 John Deere on it and just kind of showing you guys some of the versatility. I know I'll be loading up more wood and getting rounds and things like that. But I do want to put a big shout out to Gary Holbrook from, from Carry On. Gary, I really do appreciate it, man, because I'm not a big channel. I mean, as I'm sitting right now, uh, I've been doing this channel for not, not a year. Um, but I think I'm at 2,000 watched hours, and as of this morning, I have 240 subscribers. So I'm not a big channel by any stretch of the imagination. But I thought it was pretty cool that they reached out to me and said, hey, we really like the honest review you did on that. Could you do one on this too? And we're going to give you this trailer and just put it through the works. Um, I do want to apologize to Gary because he did bring this to me. Man, it might even been two months now. But uh, as I've said in some of my, my, my last video I did, I've had a lot of stuff just going on in my personal life and a lot of things going on. So I really kind of had to take a step back from making videos, uh, but I'm kind of back into it. I'm definitely not doing what I was doing before and doing one, uh, one release every Saturday. It's, uh, it's just a lot, man, with a full-time job, wife, kids, you know, house, life, and just everything that goes on in, in everybody's lives. It's kind of been, uh, especially with everything opening up now, it's been getting a lot busier for me, especially at work. So, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is just, just kind of doing a side-by-side -side comparison and looking at everything. I really do like the fact that Carry On fixed a lot of those things. The paint, it was, was big to me. I like that. I like how all the wires are run now. I like the fact that they have the LEDs in the front. I like that you can take the gate off. I definitely like that you can unbolt the fenders and put new fenders on. So you can buy new fenders from them. You can also buy new fenders from wherever you buy these trailers from they'll carry all that i love the tag bracket issue that they took care of because again the original one that was just junk in my opinion um, so i like the fact that they that they focused on that and fixed a lot of that so just a lot of good features to it so if you're in the market for a you know, little five by eight trailer check it out go to your local tractor supply Go to a Lowe's or any other place that carries it, or obviously you can go online to carry on trailer and, and see uh, who else they have as dealers, or maybe there's a local dealer near you. Uh, but I've been very, very happy with that trailer. It's done everything I needed to do. You know, obviously we would always like to have a bigger trailer, but sometimes it's just nice to have a small trailer. Uh, for me, you guys have seen the video that I did for my fifth wheel hitch, and while the B&W hitch is easy to take out of the bed of my truck and move it around, uh, it's a whole heck of a lot easier just to bolt that little trailer on and go do what I got to do. I mean, that's a five by eight, so it's bigger than what my bed is anyway, because I got a short bed on my truck. So as always, uh, you know, if you can give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I really like going back and forth with you guys and talking with you. And as I said, I plan on doing some more videos on that trailer and kind of put it through some work so you guys can see it.
So thanks for checking everything out. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.